Hello, everybody, and welcome to Drew in the Moment. This is our little home live stream. We are going to be uh, giving away some prizes tonight for our Platinum Patreon and our Drew Crew YouTube membership, the Drew Crew Level membership. I give away uh, items for everybody, and we want to thank you guys right away so much for all of your support on the channel, and we always want to give back to you guys because we love you guys, and you guys are helping us along our journey. Of course, I've got my coffee in hand. I hope you guys do as well. Hope you guys are ready to have a fun little home stream. We have some ambient music in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear, but it is from our uh, 10 for Zen videos that we have. Listen to that. Chris, listen. Just brilliant. I don't even know if you can hear it, but... <laughs> But welcome in, everybody. How are you guys doing tonight? Surfer girl, what's up? We got Boston Steve. What's happening? Foggy, what is going on? Thank you guys for joining. Uh, Sam Pennington, Jason Meckes, what's up? Haunted. Oh, I thought I I thought I booped it. Boop. Haunted hitchhiker bacon in the other hand. That's right, man. Kenny G. What's up, dude? Zippity Dude Doug. Welcome in, guys. Thank you all for being here. Hope you guys are having a, uh, a wonderful Tuesday evening. I hope you had a great just Tuesday in general. Um, I had a really good one, and I think it was the knowledge that I knew we were going to be going live tonight to spend a little time with you guys and chat and have a bevy. Uh, Forky on Dance, welcome in. Michelle Kamara. JJ, Mickey, Eleanor, Lockhart, hello, Angela Fouts, Miss Adventures, Janine uh, Robidae, Robido, if I said that correctly, Queen V, welcome in, Kamala Fisher, thank you guys, how is everybody doing, seriously, how was your day, tell me, I want to know, Queen, how was your day, beautiful, <laughs> it was beautiful, it was beautiful, Johnny Neverland, what's up, dude, uh, Scott Lendendorf, welcome in, Pickles, Matt, uh, Castle, Nicole D. Disney, Erica Kelsey. She's here for the festivities. Well, I hope you're here for the coffee too, man. So, you know, let's have a little uh, cheers, prost, salute, slancha to just being alive today, man. To, to having the opportunity to wake up, to make a difference, honestly, in uh, everybody and anybody's life. Because um, I was listening to my motivational uh, speakers this morning, and it was just one of those things where everything you do if you don't believe it you're 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 lying to yourself everything you do matters understand that that's like a real like real heavy thing that when you really think about it every decision that you make matters whether you know you're being kind to somebody or you're not being kind to somebody or you know you say something to somebody you know what i mean like everything you do matters so, you know, live your life with that sense of like uh, responsibility almost, you know. Um, so I always try my best to be uh, nice to people and, and, you know, and just try to make people laugh as much as I can. Because I, I feel like that is something uh, that is something that everybody needs. We, we all need that. So honestly, seriously, guys, cheers, pros, salute, slancha to having today, to having today. Cheers. Mm. Albert E, what's up, Green Giant? Welcome in. Billy Glenn, what's happening? Jim Dempsey, Disney Bowen, Tink Disney. <laughs> wait, wait. Drew, is that Folgers in your cup? I I I have to I have to tell you, I got a little cheap, man. <laughs> it's not my favorite coffee, but it's coffee, man. It works. I'm drinking Maxwell House. I would rather have Folgers, to be honest with you. Uh, not a huge Maxwell House fan, but it gets the job done. It really does. Da, uh, dog uh, Dagmar loves Disney. Hello, Mike Beachman. Brett and Jamie, welcome in. Um, yeah, seriously, thank you all for, for taking time out of your evening to come hang out with a turkey like me and uh, listen to some ambient music in the background. Um, but I do want to let you guys know, if you ever need like that nice, relaxing ambiance, uh, I feel like we did a pretty good job on them. I enjoy them, honestly, myself. Uh, it's 10 for Zen. It's on our channel. 
It's like some nice, relaxing esque type music um, with some great, well, we think they're great, great shots around Disney. Um, and it's just really, it's just really fun, really fun. You can put it on when you're, uh, you know, cleaning the house, when you're just relaxing or, or whatever. So, uh, Lynn Butler, Sally Turner. Oh, yeah, I know. And the, uh, oh, yeah, I got to get my phone because it does different things on there. There we go. Through the eyes of Chad. What's up, buddy? Uh, thank you for being a member for 11 months, man. I really appreciate that, dude. Drew crew for life, hands down. Well, hey, I'm a you guys crew for life. You guys are awesome, man. Um, and also, also, if you're new to the channel, we honestly are all about just trying to put good things out into the world. Uh, honestly, like that, that is from, from my heart, man, our heart and soul, just trying to put out some good stuff. Uh, cause we know a lot of people, um, especially since 2020, but, uh, really need a, a little up uplift. You know what I mean? They need to feel uplifted. They need to have a good time. They need to breathe a little bit. Um, so if you're, if you're looking for that kind of channel, then you will get that here. Um, we appreciate all our subscribers. So if you do enjoy what we have going on here, we hope you consider subscribing. But that's what that is. James Wilkerson, welcome in. He said, oh, look at this. Boop, boop. James says, I'm getting you and Queen a new Mardi Gras po uh, package put together to ship out soon. Thank you so much, man. And just so you know, James Wilkerson, I'm using the hat tonight. I got a hat, and this has uh, everybody's name. If you're a Platinum Patreon or higher, or a Drew Crew uh, YouTube member level, uh, I got everybody in here. We just went over, you know, all the names to make sure we didn't miss anybody because we want everybody to have a, a fair shot at uh, winning the prizes. If you are interested in joining the Patreon or the or the YouTube membership, link should be in the description. Like I said, we're uh, we're polling for the Platinum Patreon and the Drew Crew level. Um, do you guys want to see the prizes tonight? We have three. We have three, and we do this every month. Uh, and you guys basically uh, shouted to the rafters that you guys enjoy doing the live, uh, instead of like a video, doing the live polling of the, uh, of the prizes. So, Surfer Girl, thank you for being a member for 11 months. Love you, too. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope to see you in seven days. And I hope you have a great trip. I really do. Um, and, yes, and the and just so you guys know, Dan, uh, Dom, what's up, dude? Uh, like Queen said, just so you guys know. Uh, so the difference, I'm going to explain it right here. The difference between the YouTube membership, uh, like if you're uh, a Drew crew, you, you, get the pro you, know, you get a chance to win the prizes every month. Patreon on the platinum or higher, also the same thing. YouTube um, members get the emojis. The Patreons get the the live stream. So we're going to be doing a Patreon live stream, and I think we're going to try to do it next Friday, right? Right, not this one. Not this Friday, but next Friday. So just so you guys know, that's uh, that is the uh, that's the difference. So. Chris Bonica slash Bonica, there you are, Perry. What's up, heavy heavy metal crone? What's going on? Thanks for joining, Andy Powers. Welcome in. If bacon on a stick is a prize, I donate it to Billy Glenn. <laughs> That's awesome. What about me? I want to I eat bacon on a stick. Um, but okay, you guys want to see the prizes? I'll, I'll show you the prizes. And uh, we got a couple things that we're going to talk about tonight. And I'm going to try to get tech savvy, man. Uh, Queen put up some pictures that I'm going to show, and here's hoping I, I don't mess it up. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so we have three prizes, like I said. Whoops. First prize is going to be a set of these beautiful, beautiful 50th ears. I do like these. I don't know how you guys feel about them, but I think they're pretty cool, man. I like the black and the gold. That black and gold looks really good together. So that will be the first prize. The second prize is going to be the Mickey Attraction Awesome Plush. Uh, this is the uh, mm. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. I handpicked this, just so you guys know, because I was like, ooh, the Peter Pan one. Uh, so this will be the second prize. Super cute, man. 
So that will go to a lucky uh, Platinum Patreon or Drew Crew member tonight. And last but not least, we have a figment popcorn bucket. Now, it's not even just a figment popcorn bucket. You got the 40th lanyard, which is different than they had last year. That was the one thing I noticed. Uh, so you got the 40th. So it's like a 40th figment. So that will be the last prize. So I hope you guys are super excited. Hope you're happy about the prizes. We try to, uh, we honestly do, we try to like get you guys good stuff um, because you guys so kindly you really do uh fluffy april doodle thank you for joining our membership appreciate it welcome in forever sunshine what's going on carmen gloria um no but like like honestly guys like we we send um we like to send out some good prizes to you guys because i know you guys work hard i really do i i do too queen does i get it you guys work so hard and for you to take some of your money to try to help us, you know, along this YouTube uh, journey that we're on. We we can't thank you guys enough, and, and we want to give you guys some cool stuff. I, I, I don't want to give you guys stuff that you're like, eh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so we do our best to, to give back to you guys, you know. So, but cheers again. Cheers, Pro Salutes, Launch. And pew, need a little uh, Maxwell House in my cup. Yum. Mm, yum. <laughs> Mama Cass, Helen Lundgren, hello. Wait, if I'm in Patreon, I can be here. Anybody can be here, but if you you have to be, like I said, the Platinum Patreon or higher or the Drew Crew member level on YouTube, uh, and all of you guys' names are in here, so it's all at random. So, But anybody, you guys can just enjoy because we're going to have fun anyway. We're not... I mean, we're going to pull the prizes, but I want to talk about some other stuff and hang out with you guys. And, uh, yeah. And Vicky D, Vicky D, nudist, nudist, notice my new shirt, huh? Look at this. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's the Dancing Skeletons. Look at that. Huh? Queen V bought this for me on Shop, what is it, Shop Disney? Yeah. She got it on Shop Disney for a reasonable price. Uh, so I was so excited when I got it and it fit like $19. I think it was like 50 something, 59 in the park. So guys always remember to like, check out shop, excuse me, shop Disney. And she does have good taste. Mama Cass. I agree. I mean, I do. I know. I, I meant to match. I did. I meant to. Ma yeah. I meant to match. I was trying to look, I was trying to look nice for you guys tonight. <laughs> Disney Baker, what's up, dude? Welcome in, Michelle Kamara, Ken K, Brian Hunt, what's up? Very adulty, right? And every now and again, if I want to be cool with kids, I just pop my collar, right? Right? <laughs> uh, Kenny G says, is that Roosevelt? I don't think so. No, no, it's it's not. It's a little harder material, but I love it. I'm down with it. John, tell me what's up. <laughs> Sometimes you get a pop your collar, man. And Billy Glenn says, our Drew is growing up so fast. <laughs> I'm very adulted now, sort of. Uh, I don't act like it all the time. I, I do when I need to. I do when I need to. Um, but you know what? So I think what we're going to do, we're going to pull for one prize, and then I, I'm going to try to do the picture thing and try to look like I know what I'm doing on the computer. Uh, and we'll talk, and then we'll do another prize, and then we'll talk. And What do you guys think about that, right? Looking hoity-toity in your big boy shirt and GQ, GQ glasses. <laughs> right? I know. Gammy Tammy, welcome in. Kevin Fisher, welcome. Uh, and, and through the eyes of chat, dude, I want – is this is Boston Scally Company, my hat? And uh, I, I just – one of my dreams would be to somehow – I've been trying to collab with them. i got to get a hold of them again. They said they didn't have any room last year. I'm going to try it again this year. Uh, I'd love to have them make a Drew in the Moment cap. Like on the back, have a little logo. But uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Epa! Christy J, welcome in. Hammer Studios, what's going on? Grumpy, what's up, dude? Welcome, welcome. 
Um, and hold on. Pam Levenstein, welcome in from Canada. And Pickle Bob, what's up, dude? <laughs> and Angela Fout said, I've not received my private Instagram account. Let we will have to check that after. Angela Fouts. We'll have to get her into the okay, the, yes. in, the Instagram. Right. Yep. Yes. And and honestly, thank you guys for letting us know. Okay. Sometimes they have a different name on the Instagram, so if they let us know, send us yeah. a message and say this is okay. Me. Yeah, a Angela felt sometimes. Uh, I don't know if this is the case, but sometimes uh, will people will, like request it, but their name doesn't match who we know in the chat. So if it is you and it's a different like name uh, name on the account, just let us know it's you, just because obviously we want it to be for people who you know. A first, part of that. First of all, they can say if they do a tie dye hat Ooh. in your logo. Dude, that'd be good, man, right? That'd be awesome, dude. A little tie dye action. Um okay. So we're gonna do this, guys. We're gonna we're gonna pull for uh the first prize here, which is these beautiful 50th ears. Also, please, if you win. Please send me your mailing uh, information at drewinthemoment at gmail.com. Hopefully somebody can put that up uh, so we can mail these out to you. Okay. So this will be for these. We got all the members that are uh, able to win in the hat. Shake it up good. I'm going to shake it up good. I'm going to do this. But I'm so nervous. I get nervous every time because I want all of you to like I want all of you to win, but obviously that's not possible. Okay. Is that good? Tell me when to stop. That's good. I got one. I got one. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? James Wilkerson. Woo! James Wilkerson, you have one yourself. Some beautiful ears. Congratulations, dude. Bam. Isn't that a circle of life? It's a it circle of life, life man. Like Look at that. He doesn't stop. That's he awesome. Doesn't well, congratulations. That's I'm gonna awesome. I'm gonna put this over here. So we uh so we know. Congratulations. That's awesome. Greg J, what's up, dude? Put his name next to the flight. I did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yay. Exciting, exciting. That's awesome. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, and I, I also want to say thank you to everybody that has watched the vlogs. Really appreciate um, you guys watching the vlogs because it helps the channel so much uh, to help us to grow the channel so we can do more live streams and we can do more content. Uh, so thank you. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for going over there, booping the like and commenting. And speaking of vlogs, we had our Mardi Gras, we did a Mardi Gras vlog, also we went live from the park, and uh, let me show you guys, see if I can do this right, Queen set it up for me, <laughs> all right, so I wanted to show you guys, the, in case you missed it, the awesome meet and greet, the meet and greet that we had during, did I do it, did I do it, maybe? Yeah! Look at me. Now I'm tiny. Look, I'm in the tiny screen. Let me out. Um, but uh, yeah, this this was such a cool meet and greet. We got very lucky. We were in the right spot at the right time because they had all the characters where a little bit later on, they only had Shaggy and Scooby. <laughs> yeah, I'm, tra I'm trapped in a box. Yeah. Um, but we got so lucky to get this uh, this photo uh, with with the whole gang. It was just awesome. They were all decked out, which I've never seen them decked out for Mardi Gras. Um, so that was a that was a great opportunity that we had because uh, you don't always get that. You don't always get that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there's two shaggies in there. Uh, Brian, I won't say your last name. Brian, thank you so much, man. How are you? Appreciate that. Um, I'll say you was a better Shaggy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was good. No, he was good. He was good. And uh, you'll have to see. 
me and me and Shaggy did a little something together. Uh, but if you check out the vlog, which is up on the channel, uh, we had such a great time with that meet and greet. Who's that meddling kid on the right of Scoob? <laughs> that was me, man. Wicked good, Andy. What's up, dude? <laughs> you look wicked smart with Scoob and Shag. Oh yeah. There's. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Shaggy with jeans on before. Yeah, it was, it was a rare, it was a rare occasion that I uh, that I had jeans on. Uh, but no, but seriously, this was a great, it was a great photo, great time. We love Universal. Um, I highly recommend boop, getting over to Universal um, anytime. But like, if you go for Mardi Gras, their food is off. The chart's good. It really is for, for Mardi Gras. Don't you agree? Yeah. That food was awesome, man. And uh, I'm going to show you guys boop, some of the uh, some of the food here that we got. Only a couple things. But uh, it, it was so good. Yeah, I'm going to do a close-up of it. Boop. Bam. Right there. That right there was delicious this was the um uh, why am i jambalaya. jambalaya i always forget it's the jambalaya and it was spiced so good man it was so good the only thing that I, I i wish they i mean it's for one person but we shared it but i wish they had had two of the crawfish <laughs> yeah but they have to pick a chicken no 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 the shrimp the shrimp, shrimp. Oh, two shrimp. yeah two shrimp the chicken too they have to oh the two. chicken well i think chicken threw it it was just two shrimp. Yeah, but inside of Yeah, in, inside with chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was delicious. She's looking at me. She's rolling her eyes at me, right? She did. She just rolled her eyes at me, man. I saw chicken in there. Yeah, pieces of chicken. And there were two big ones. Yeah, yeah, two big ones, of course. Yeah, two two big ones. Um, but what was funny, I didn't say it in the in the vlog, but uh when we got it and we set it down, when you're looking down on it, I'm not kidding you. It was a hidden Mickey. It had two of the, <laughs> the two shrimp was the ears. And it was. It was a hidden Mickey. Jason Cristani, welcome in. Arvid Aaron. Uh, crawfish tastes like shrimp. No, man. it's It's got that like lobster kind of vibe going on. It was really good though. Mickey Stein, what's up? Deep for Disney. Welcome in. Yeah, this, it was good, man. Um, I was... Very excited uh, that it was so good because we had something else during the live stream that wasn't as good. It, it was a rare, remember, it was a little rare uh, occasion that uh, that it wasn't that good, like something that wasn't that great. Um, but it was mainly the bread. The bread was the issue. And boop, boop. There we go. See, there I am. I got the uh, the jambalaya. And on the left there is the twisted taters, which was so good. I got Parmesan. You, you can pick out whatever you want for like your uh, topping on it. And we got um, the Parmesan. Next time though, I want to get one. It has a hot dog and the twisted tater is around the hot dog. Right? That looked, that looked really good. Anthony Makuda, what's up? David Thomas, Kimmy G. Welcome in, guys. Um, but yeah, um, okay. Can anybody else agree with me in chat that's been to Mardi Gras, like at Universal? How did you like their food? I want to. I want to have some testimony here, because the time every time we've gone to Mardi Gras, the food has been outstanding. It really has. Ah, yeah. See, twisted taters are my jam. Not with the hot dog, though. Okay. Same. I didn't like the hot dog. Stephanie Kramer. Yeah. You didn't like the hot dog last year? Really? Hot dog don't fail me now. Hot dog don't fail me now. Mm, mm, ding, they put the bacon oh, bacon. Yeah, they should put bacon in it. Wrap it in tater. Oh, Anthony Makuto, buddy. I'm so sorry, man. Well, make sure, seriously, you're getting a lot of fluids, man. I'm, I'm sure you are. Taking some medicine. But thank you for joining us tonight, man. Appreciate you being here. Devin B., it's always good. It's my favorite festival. Okay, we got some testimony here. LM, welcome in. Hello. <laughs> uh, I, I'm a twisted tater purist. <laughs> Sarah, I get it. No, I get it. 
Um, I, I just, I love like hot dogs and sausage and I pretty much eat almost anything. Kaylee Maine, Christopher Jameson, welcome in. Thank you guys for joining. And so far, guys, I'm doing a pretty darn good job with, look at that. Look at that. I'm like, I'm like a pro now. I'm so happy. I'm so, I'm proud of myself. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm proud of myself. Got to fill up uh, a little more bevy. <laughs> uh, they should, oh, wait, they should do a bacon wrapped bacon sprinkled with bacon. <laughs> right? I'd be down with that, man. I can get into that. Absolutely. Oh, Eric is doing dishes. I've We've had this conversation before. I will do dishes over laundry any day of the week. Any day of the week. I feel like doing the the dishes it just i can get them done quicker you know forky said oh there we go are you sure you're you're not just going there when you're hungry it makes everything taste better <laughs> no it, oh man Go, going to the grocery store when you are hungry is the worst decision you could ever make we do it all the time you know and then we get home and we're like this isn't even food. I don't even know what we bought. Just a bunch of junk to eat. <laughs> Frankie C, what's up, buddy? Welcome in, dude. Thank you for joining us. Circle K, hello, hello. Welcome in. No worries. Thank you for, for dropping by, booping that like, and saying hi. Yeah, Matt Castles would make he'd rather do dishes than laundry. I know laundry takes forever, man. Forever. It really does. Um. All right, see if I can see if I can do this again. So I don't mess anything up. I feel I do. I, I really feel proud of myself. Um, so you know what? I'm just I'm gonna go right to it. In case you missed the live stream on Sunday. <laughs> in case you missed the live stream on Sunday. We found a gentleman that we decided to name Jim. His full name is Jim, Jimmy James Jameson the um, Third. <laughs> Eric is like, yes. So it was just some some random guy, but he had like five balloons. He had probably two dozen roses, and he was right in the hub you know, at Magic Kingdom. And we built a story around Jim, like that we want to believe. And I think we're all going to believe it, you know, because I believe it, uh, that he was waiting to get married. Like he was waiting to go like propose uh, to somebody. And uh, we were all like, we didn't want to stalk around too much. I didn't want to stay there too long because I didn't want to make him, you know, I didn't want to get him nervous, of course. I didn't want to get him nervous. Uh, but we ended up having to walk away before we saw, you know, the person come so he could do what he, uh, needs to do. And then we went looking for him after we were done the stream. I'm not kidding you. Anybody that had a balloon, we are like, is that Jim? Is that Jim? Is that Jim? Um, <laughs> and, uh, unfortunately we did not find Jim. Uh, but we took this little screenshot, uh, and there he is. There he is. There's Jim right there. It went for like 40 minutes. Oh, a good, yeah, a good 40, 45 minutes. It really did uh, in the live stream. So it was really funny. Um, and you can rewatch that, obviously, if you want. Um, it was towards the end of the stream. And uh, it, it was just great. And, and I just want to thank all of you for being the people that you are that just embraced what, what was happening and you went with the flow and you guys had us cracking up, man. And it was just, I love stuff like that. It's so silly, but it's funny and it was just fun. And uh, it was awesome. It was awesome. Keith Abbott, what's up, Steve-O baby? Welcome in, dude. Thank you for joining us. Um, but I did want to, I, I want to let you guys know, next Tuesday, which is Valentine's Day, Okay, it's Valentine's Day, and I know probably a lot of you guys have stuff going on, but we're gonna go live from the house again. So we're not doing a, a giveaway or anything, or maybe I don't know. Uh, we uh, 
we're going to do a little something special um, for Jim. For Jim. We're going to do a little something special for Jim. Uh, so we hope that you can make it next Tuesday. I'm guessing probably right around the same time, maybe 7 o'clock or so. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, post a time for it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun. We're going to have a good time, you know. And it's going to be Valentine's Day, so we can spend a little Valentine's Day with you guys. So I hope you guys are excited. <laughs> I believe we figured out he was heir to the Slim Jim fortune. <laughs> uh, no, the, Foggy, no no baking with Drew, but uh, it's going to be something special for Jim. It, it's it's, it's going to be a little something, something special for, uh, for Jim because he deserves our love, our attention, our affection. Uh, cause we need Jim to know that we're behind him. That's really what has to happen. <laughs> and at some point, maybe we'll make like, you know, Jim stickers or something. I don't know. We have to, we have to get creative because life is about being creative and, and doing some fun, silly things, uh, that just make you smile. They, they don't ever have to really make sense. They can just be fun, you know? So, but now I think it's time. For prize number two. What do you guys say to that? What do you guys say to that? No. This cool Mickey's main attraction is the prize that we will be pulling for. It's the Peter Pan. I mean, come on. Look at him. That is just awesome. What would Jim do? <laughs> yeah, right? What would Jim do, man? But yes, super cute. I love his little uh, little stars on his... Uh, on his little jacket. So this will be the prize. It was a Christy J, but she's in the chat. Then we finally got this back. Christy J, we finally got the prize that we sent to your no longer address. Uh, we got it here. So we will have to uh, get that out to you or uh, meet up with you at some point. Just so you know, it just came back. Uh, Rob Fuzz, what's up, dude? Welcome in. Thank you for joining us. All right. Nina MC, welcome in from California. But yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll say it again. For anybody that's popping in, maybe you're new to the channel or you're new to us being in the house and doing a live stream, this is our uh, giveaway for our Platinum Patreon level members and the Drew Crew YouTube level members. Um, we do this every month. And we started doing it live. Uh, we used to just do the videos, but you guys said you liked it live. So I was like, let's do it live um, where we give away some, uh, some prizes to uh, some wonderful people who so kindly and generously uh, help, uh, help us out along you know, our YouTube journey with getting to the parks and data and, and, and on and on and on. So this is our, our little way of giving back. So, all right. I got to shake it up. All right, Taylor, you tell me when to stop, buddy. Right now. He said, right now. Here it is. Here's the winner. Who's it going to be? Oh, I get nervous. I get nervous. Who's it going to be? The winner is Forky Gaston. Woo! Forky Gaston. Forky Gaston. Forky Gaston. You have won yourself. This little guy right here. So congratulations, man. Forky Gaston, you got yourself a main, Mickey's main attraction, Peter Pan, dude. So congratulations. And I put that there so we don't lose it. And like I said, when you win, please send me your mailing information at DrewInTheMoment at gmail.com so we can get that prize out to you as soon as possible. So. Soupy, what's up, Soupy? Michael Pollock, hello, welcome in. Uh, Dan Stewart, welcome. So, yes, congratulations, Forky Gaston. Yes, and I know, Adler, because we had, you guys saw, you guys had the people move. Excuse me, yeah, yeah, like our, our Christy J thing where she moved, then we had her old address, excuse me, had her old address, we sent it to her old address, and it took like a month and a half or something like that for them to get it back to us. <laughs> so, yeah. So, but speaking of Mickey's main attraction, boop, let me bring this up on the screen like I know what I'm doing. 
Okay. Mickey's main attraction. In case you guys didn't know, the last Mickey's main attraction is up. It's the Cinderella fireworks is what I guess what they call it. Um, yeah. So this main, this Mickey's main attraction seemed to be a lot lackluster, I guess maybe is the word. Uh, not as not people weren't as excited about this because they did it with mini. They did Minnie's main attraction, which am I wrong by saying that? I think it like, it was like off the hook, everybody going crazy about it. Queen, right? The minis, yeah. the mini, everybody was all about the mini. And then, um, with Mickey, it wasn't as much of a, a lore. Like people were just kind of like, eh, like, you know what I mean? Like, and I thought they, they had some really cool ones, but I think partially, um, partially the problem was they couldn't get the Mickey stuff in the right month, <laughs> you know, like, the, the one that was for the month of April would show up in June, you know? So I think people just kind of were like, I don't know, kind of over it maybe, you know? But uh, I think this is a pretty cool one. I think, you know, with the fireworks and everything, what do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know in chat. Let me know in chat. And Coach Ed, what's up, dude? Uh, you know what, Arvid Aaron? That is one of the, that is one of the biggest issues, I think that Disney is running into and also for us where it's a real simple thing, right? If you go to a restaurant and they have 78 different options on the menu, it's a little overwhelming, right? Like it's like, whoa, there's so much going on. Um, or if you go into a place that has eight items, you know what I mean? You feel like, I don't know, it's easier to pick when they have so much going on. Like you said, you had the 50th anniversary and then the 40th of, of Epcot and then the hundredth and then this and then that. And it was just like, it was like overload, man. It, it was a little bit. Yeah, it really was. It was a little bit of overload, I think, for all of us. Um, but I, I wanted to know what was you guys' favorite Mickey attraction uh, one? Like I, out of all of them, they had a, they had a few different ones. Ironically, one of my least favorites, I have to admit, was the Haunted Mansion. I don't know why. I can't really tell you why, but it just was kind of meh to me. Uh, this one, though, seriously, though, the, the Peter Pan one, I thought was awesome. But, yeah, what was you guys' favorite? The pirate one, Vicky D? Okay, Jungle Cruise, Simply Bits of Jungle Cruise. Uh, JJQ, what's up, JJQ? Chris Morris, what's up, man? Uh, Foggy like the Tiki one. Okay. Yeah, the Tiki one was cool. I like that one too. Um, the teacups were nice. I like that the teacups. I, yeah, weirdly enough. Like I thought, I was like, yeah. So I'm not a big teacup the person. Dumbo was cute too. Dumbo was cute. Yeah, but you know what's funny? I like the teacups better than I like the Dumbo one, right? Chella's Hunter. Hello, Paul Ferrara. The Big Thunder one. Yeah, that was pretty cool too. Absolutely. Living Free says Jungle Cruise. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, but so, but it's over. This is, uh, this is the last installment of the uh, Mickey's Main Attraction. So Tiki one. Okay. So we got Jungle Cruise and Tiki Room seem to be the, uh, seem to be the, the popular ones. Uh, Kenny G said, my wife likes the Steamboat Willie Lounge Fly. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. That Lounge Fly is awesome, dude. Uh, Robert Desnoyers, welcome in. John the Barber, welcome in. Thank you for joining. Uh, Nina MC says, don't get me wrong, I love Orange Bird. Props to WDW, but he doesn't belong in California. As a kid, I could only get Orange Bird there. I liked it better that way. I, I can see that. Yeah, I, I can see that. Well, it's like, that's the thing, too, where the, the, the Chinese New Year, right? That's really big in Disneyland, like out in California, you know, and it doesn't seem that it's maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they don't do really anything. In Disneyland, but, they have a menu. That's what, they yeah, have yeah, characters, yeah, 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 no, right. That's what I mean. It's a little more people embrace it a little bit more. We're over here in Florida. It's like, 
I don't know. It's cool for people, but I don't think they definitely don't embrace it like they do out in uh, out in Cali. So let me do this, and let me do this. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> and yeah, Boston Steve, you're right, dude. Why don't they do Chinese New Year in Epcot like they do uh, do the New Year, dude? That would be awesome. Why don't they do that? Adventures with VP. What's up, VP? Welcome in, dude. Amanda Orlov. Hello. What is going on, buddy? Uh, John the Barber. Welcome in. Uh, I wish I had my whistle. <laughs> wish I had my whistle. So, if you guys can hear the music, can you guys actually hear the music in the background? Not really. Well, because I was thinking maybe after the stream, we could maybe run a little 10 for Zen for a little bit. So I, I want to drag a bunch of you people that have never checked out our uh, our 10 for Zen videos. Oh, yeah. Okay, pick, pick, pick four. Pick four. Pick four that you think. Boardwalk. Boardwalk. Floridian. Grand Floridian. Disney Springs. Disney Springs. Epcot Flower and Garden. Epcot Flower and Garden. Garden. Okay. I don't know. This was like She's like, oh, this one or this one? What do you got? No, but seriously, we, we would love to have you guys come in and check it out. Uh, they're just, well, yeah, we're going to be chatting uh, with you guys uh, while we, basically, it's just some nice music with some nice, you know, uh, video uh, areas in the parks. So, it's a 10 percent. We'd love for you guys to come and hang out with us after we end this stream. Uh, we'll get that up and running for, I don't know, an hour or something like that. If you guys want, does that sound cool to you guys? <laughs> Steve. Can you guys Zen? You guys, you guys want to feel some Zen? We relax and, and chat. Coach N said the Grand Floridian is the best. Oh. Okay. Okay. Heavy metal crone. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people that haven't seen the Zen. And I try to bring him in because it's like, even if you come in for 10 minutes, check it out, like it, it, get a little relaxing and, and we can chat. Like I know a lot of, a lot of you guys like to chat. I do as well. So Zen, Zen, Zen. Foggy's all about the Zen. All right. I'm down with that. Let me see what else I have here on this. Oh, Surfer Girl. Well, thank you. I'm glad you do. We, we try to do a good job on them. We... Uh, I like for people to like, kind of like calm down, relax and, uh, you know, get a, get a breath for a little bit. But the last, the last picture that I have is a Tron picture. This is, this is a, a picture from 2019 when they had this out. I'm so glad that we actually uh, got a picture there. It's one that we took together. You was pushing me. With my oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't find couldn't it. Couldn't find that one. Ah. Uh. Billy Glenn said a Zen for Jim. I agree, man. A Zen for <laughs> Oh, Dan Stewart needs a Zen. Dude, you gotta get a Zen education, man. Uh yeah, no, seriously. They're just really chill, relaxing uh videos that we we make them so people if they need help, you know, going to sleep or like really, like if you need help going to sleep or or you just kind of wound up because understand that. I know what it's like to get wound up. I'm just like you guys where like uh, things will be fine and then you just get worked up. Sometimes you don't even know why you're getting worked up, but um, it's a good way to, to decompress, kind of get grounded. So, uh, but anyway, back to Tron. So yeah, we took this in 2019. And as you guys know, you've seen Sally Turner was saying, uh, you know, they got videos out because they have the cast member previews and whatnot. Um, and it's, for me, I haven't even watched those because I know it's going to be exactly like the one that they had in, what was it? Was it Hong Kong? In Hong Kong, I think, or, or correct me if I'm wrong, uh, that I had already seen the the POV of it and it looks awesome. So obviously I'm sure it's basically the same. But who is excited for Tron? Because this is as far as I'm going to be able to get on Tron, pretending that I'm on it. <laughs> uh, I know Queen is. Uh, Forky, I'm dance. No, I, dude, I'm just not going to be able to ride it. Uh, I was going to deal with the whole vertigo thing. Um, 
but unfortunately, not to get into this, but because of the pressure on the ride, because of my my the eyesight thing that I got going on, it's highly uh, recommended to not go on those type of things because of the pressure. Um, so I, yeah, I, I don't want to chance it. I was going to chance it with the vertigo and just say, whatever, let, let's do it. But So we will be there for opening day. But we are going to be there for opening day. And I got to go in. I'm gonna walk through the queue with her. We're we're gonna be are we gonna live stream, right? We're gonna live stream. We're gonna be live streaming the first day. Now we're on that area. Yeah. People going in. Yep. I think we're gonna be able to go closer all the way to like the. To where they load. Right? Yeah. To yeah. where they load. So we can have like the live stream there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, we'll I'll bring you guys along up until the point, um, where she's gonna get on the ride because you do if you plan on filming. You have to have a GoPro on a chest strap or whatever. You your... cannot have it on your wrist. You're no, me. you cannot have it on your wrist because it can loosen up. They want a full strap, just so you guys know. So in case you get excited, you're like, cool, I have it on my hand. It'll be great. They do not allow that. Uh, and and I'm okay with that. And I'll tell you why I'm okay with that. I got kids. Obviously, I got a, my wife too. Can you imagine you're on the ride? Somebody has that and they didn't tighten it up right. That thing goes flying and hits somebody in the face. That's not going to be good. So they they really want you to. I gotta do one then. They really want you to, yeah. They like if you're gonna do it. And that's what I've heard. So. Um, oh, Tink Disney, thank you. Yes, you guys ride it for me. You guys ride it for me. Uh, John the Barber's daughter go uh, goes on it February sixteenth. Oh, that's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Dave Chiodo, Josh R., welcome in. Thank you for joining. So I might be writing it before if we get a pass holder preview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. I'm able to get it. Yeah, we're going to try to get the pass holder preview. And if also, not. The, four, the April 4 is going to be a, a queue. Yes, it's going to so be a queue. Either way, we're going to hang out around. Either way, we're going to see and try to make, make it happen. Hopefully. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to get too old to handle some of these rides, you know, dude. And that, like, besides my eye thing before that, it's like I started getting this vertigo thing, man. And it's just like, I can't, I've never been a thrill ride seeker, I just haven't. I've always liked the uh, chill out, enjoy the ride, take, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I, I've just always been like that. Uh, so it wasn't really that damaging to me, like, to not be able to ride some of these rides, but yeah, man, the older you get, it's like your back, your, you know, your head, whatever, um, it starts to, you just start to get older, unfortunately. Uh, wait, mission space was my first warning that my vision was going. Uh, <laughs> dude, I can't imagine. I, I've talked to people that can handle G-forces and they're totally fine with it. And they went on the orange, which is the, in case you didn't know, mission space, it's like this little simulator that you go to space. They said the orange one they went on, they got off it feeling so messed up and distorted. Uh, so I can't even imagine, you know. Yeah, Dave Giotto, dude, I just like to chill, man. I like to, to enjoy the uh, the sights, you know. You know. Mike Towels, what's up, buddy? Welcome in. <laughs> Armin Anson, the last time on Everest was the last time. And that ride right there is what gave me vertigo. That's how I, I knew I had vertigo. I rode it. Two times in a row. First time was on the front. Second time was on the back. And when I got off that second ride, man, I'm like, not feeling right. So, yeah. But I bet you guys want me to pull the winner for this little guy right here. This will be the last third and final prize. We got Figment with the 40th lanyard on it. Woo! Wheezy, what's up, dude? Oh, yeah. And, oh, wait. They told you, you gotta. I don't wanna break it. And you guys are gonna get the popcorn, too. Look at that. Huh? You guys even get the popcorn. Not even just the Figment popcorn bucket. You actually get popcorn in it from Disney. I swear I didn't eat any of it. So, guys, good luck. Good luck. Oh, I'm getting nervous. Samantha Roth, welcome in. Take it, take it. You need to turn on the light. 
Oh my darn it. That's what I meant to do. Well, I guess it, I guess it, whoa, geez, ooh. sorry guys. That's, that's a little too intense. Is that, is that okay? All right. I don't want to like, so guys, last and final prize. I meant to do this for all the prizes, but I guess uh, it's kind of cool that we're doing it in the last one. Is that terrible for everybody? <laughs> all right, Queen, tell me when to stop okay, shaking. I'm make sure you're not getting digital. Let's get digital, digital. Oh, wait, we don't want to get digital. That's right. Boop, boop. Pass Drew on the TV. Is All right, we'll do that. There we go. That's a little. That's a little bit easier on everybody's eyes, right? All right, Taylor, tell me when to stop, buddy. Um, no. All right, this is for the popcorn bucket. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Here we go. This is our winner, Eric White. Woo! Congratulations, Eric White. Ooh, 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 ooh. Eric White is our big winner. You have won yourself a figment popcorn bucket with the popcorn in it. Woo! Congratulate, congratulations, Mr. Eric White. And I think everybody knows uh, who Eric White is. Eweezy! <laughs> congratulations, Eweezy. You have won yourself. A favorite popcorn bucket. Bubby! What's up, Bubby? Bubby. And all Eweezy has to say is, uh, <laughs> congratulations, dude. Oh, Eric Melanson. So close, man. So close, dude. Oh. Uh, Angela Phelps, thank you for being here with us. We appreciate, uh, all your support with us on the channel. And like I said, this we're going to do this. We do this every month. Um, and if you are a Platinum Patreon member or higher, we're going to be doing a Patreon live stream. Our plan is next Friday for that. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So we'll go down all the winners. So we have Mr. James Wilkerson. Boop, has won these beautiful 50th ears. Uh, we Forky Gaston, boom, won this awesome Mickey's main attraction. Very cool. And as we just pulled, Mr. Eric White with this little guy right here, little figment. Bam, just like that. Daniel Delgado, what's up, Pluto? Uh, so, yeah, so congratulations to everybody. And thank you for being here. Um, so we're going to, uh, when we end the stream, we're going to get the 10 for Zen stream going for like an hour. I figure it's cool. I, feel, like, I, I really want you guys to come check it out. And you can also, like we're going to do the a little lot. It's a premiere, I guess is what you call it. We're going to be chatting and, and everything. But if you do enjoy the videos, they're on the channel that you can just go watch. You can put it on while, like I said, while you're washing the dishes or doing the laundry or you just want to, you know, decompress. So, so what, um, um, setting up a stream because it's going to take me a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I think you actually go check out the Mardi Gras. Yeah, check out the Mardi Gras vlog because uh, it's not that long. It's not a super long vlog, but it was super fun because we, we really need you guys' help. We really do with checking out those vlogs. Um, it just helps the channel out so much. It really does. Uh, and uh, we want to be able to grow this channel. We want to be able to bring some more more friends in and uh, going over and watching the vlogs. I'm telling you, watching the vlogs, booping the like, leaving a comment. They it, it does wonders for the channel. And if you guys do enjoy the channel and you want to help us keep this thing going, um, that is one huge way that you guys can help. Um, and thank you, Christy J. Now we we have fun making them, and like I always say, it's like taking almost like taking a live stream, but you condense all the highlights. It's kind of what it does. So, um, but yes, so we're gonna do some Zen. Uh, what like while she's setting it up, guys, check out a vlog. Check out the Mardi Gras vlog. We have you know other vlogs up, and uh, 
We will see you guys shortly. But congratulations to everybody, and thank you all, uh, all our, all our, uh, you know, Platinum Patreons and Drew Crew members. Thank you guys so much for your generosity and your kindness. Uh, we always want to try to give back any, everything, and anything that we can um, to show our gratitude uh, for you guys helping us on this journey. And thank you, everybody who came in. Oh, lost the light. Everybody who came in, it's pretty good timing. That uh, just came in and, and booped the like and just hung out. Uh, thank you guys so much for, for just hanging with us. But uh, all right, guys. Well, till we see you in maybe a little bit, remember, it's only one way to live. It's in the moment. And pretty soon it's going to be in the moment with Z.